make a test to check if remove the woodroof keys it's only like sometimes we have some issues with the stump and the cone because these two parts should perfectly fit to each other and if you mount the flywheel with the torque of 70 then it should not be possible to remove the flywheel if it is you have if it is removable nevertheless you have to make a test to check if the stump is big enough has the exact measurements this is a 2011 ignition and the test is just mark it with a pen and then take the flywheel remove the woodroof key push it there and just turn it remove the spark plug so you can hold the piston down and crank does not move so now according to which marks are cleaned away now we know if they fit each other or not and what do we see it's only light here it's black as I colored it here so in this case this stump does not have the original measurements it's too small or this part is too big just 50 or 30 percent of the needed area is has the right size and has the press fit with the cone because uh, in case of the stutter stump it is not the woodruff key that keeps the flywheel in position as it is with the clutch it is the press fit of the cone with the stump this means yeah you do the same test with the original crank I have it somewhere where is it wait there it is if you compare them wait some out you see at the original crankshaft the marks are were disappeared the whole length of the cone it did not do so here What we can use here to keep the crank in position is a piston stopper that we use for setting the ignition timing. So you cannot turn it anymore. Then we take the flywheel. We can also put a screw nut on it. Turn and turn and turn. Yeah, I'll show you the result then. There's 